Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a complete lesson in Instremia. Um, so my lesson is going to be on the preterite tense conjugations. So first of all, I'm going to create the chapter. So I'm here in my example course. So I'm going to click this add new chapter button. And now it automatically creates my first module for me. Um, so I'm going to make a few modules here so that I can make, um, I'll make this a total of a four module lesson. So you can see here I have modules that lead up to a capstone exercise and then my capstone. So I'll click save here. Um, now I'll name this preterite. Okay, and then I'll say in this lesson you'll learn one of the past tenses. All right, so now I can start into my, my module. So my first module is, is just going to be very simply preterite versus imperfect. Now I'm going to add a few things. So first of all, I'm going to say, now you're going to learn about past tenses in Spanish, you'll learn first about the preterite. So now I'm just going to give a quick um, introduction video on the difference between the preterite and the imperfect. So here all, these are my YouTube videos. So earlier I, I uploaded this video, I just recorded on my iPad I actually used to explain everything and I recorded it to YouTube and so here it is so I'm just going to copy this link so I can either press control and hold and click copy link address that's one way of doing it or that's on the Mac on on PC you just right click and click copy link address or you can just open the video and then copy the address from the URL bar so I'll do that now I'll go back to my class and I'll paste that in and now when I click the save button it'll become a, a thumbnail and then the students will click this to view it in the just the simple video viewer. Okay, we're gonna... Now I'll go back to my chapter preterite tense and this next module I'll have students learn about regular uh, preterite conjugations and so we're going to start off by first you will learn the conjugations for the regular verbs and again I'm going to go back to my YouTube channel go back to my preterite research search results and I'm going to start off with this um, regular preterite verb practice. Or I'll start off with this video, which is preterite tense regular conjugation. So I'm, again, I'm just going to do the shortcut. So again, it's good to give them these grammar explanations up front. And then I'm also going to have them uh, do watch a video that has a lot of preterite tense. Now you'll watch a video with preterite tense in it. So now I'll click save. I'll go back to explore. Now I, I have one that's called Historia de Juan. So I'll search for that. These actually are all good. They all have a lot of pres present preterite tense, but I'll use this one. I like this one. So I'm going to have them do um, I'll have them to do these three exercises. So I can actually just copy all three of these. Just select this in this box. Press Control C. Now I go back to my lesson. Oops. Click Edit on the, the content. Now I paste in this. And do some exercises for it. Um, so now I can have them actually conjugate the verbs themselves in, in one of the practices, but before I do that, 
I'm going to have them do one more just video just watch me practice regular preterite verb practice this is another little grammar video that I recorded I'm gonna go to the shortcut copy link address go back to this and paste this in so that this is a good little lesson they have a few modules here if they click on this for example they'll have to do this exercise and they'll get graded on it Volar. Um, and so they, they can kind of learn about all the preterite tenses that they're using. So, again, that's a preterite tense verb. So it's a little way of them getting a little bit of exposure to it. Now I go back to my chapter. And this one's going to be preterite tense practice. And ear and say. So now I'll go into my content again, and um, let's just say, let's learn from another video, and let's find another one for them. So let's go back to explore. Now I'll have them do, let's have them do Sudi El Tigre, that's a good one. So let's have them do live listening. Then I can go back to this class and paste this in. And now I can have them actually do one of the exercises that has them practice the conjugations of the of the present of the preterite tense. So let's go to my glossary of exercises. I'll need that for this. So before I go to that, let me explain how these numbers what, how this URL works. This number is very important. This number uniquely identifies a video. So here, this number means Sudi y el tigre. It relates to that video itself. So I can use this number in the glossary ones, just like the instructions tell me. Replace number with your number to use. So I'm going to search for preterite. So I'm going to choose this exercise flashcard preterite tense conjugation. And again, it gives the, the learner a verb and asks them to conjugate it. So I'll choose this exercise here. I'll copy this. Now I'll go back to my class. I'll paste this in. And I'll replace this number with the one from my video. So now I, I'll so this exercise will actually have them practice the conjugation of some of the words in this. Now I can delete this and practice conjugating conjugation. So now when they go here, they'll actually have to, as you can see, conjugate the verbs in this video. Tu moviste. So you can see they actually have to practice each of these verbs. So now let's go back up. Oh, I also wanted to do ear and ser, so I'll have them explain this too. So this is going to be another one of my grammar videos that I made earlier. So I'll have them learn how to do ear and ser in the preterite. Somehow I'll paste that in and then one other one I'll have them also do the year into their practice. Let's paste that in. Um, now I'll have them do practice the the other one from the last lesson too. So I'll save this and go back to my regulars. And now I'll I'll actually click edit again here find out what is my magical number from the history of Juan. I'll have them learn from this one. That's a common thing that I do throughout my lessons. I have them review over and over again uh, the same video, focusing on different skills for it. So that helps them reinforce and, and learn from that content over again. So now I'll, I'll go back to this. I didn't change anything there. Go back forward. Now I'll change this. So now that I found that number, I'm going to use the same flashcard preterite tense conjugation. And this time I'm going to use it for la historia de Juan. So I'm going to paste that number in there. 
Now I can delete this number. And now I can delete, oops, now I can save this. So now they have this lesson that learned from me to rhetoric ear and say, then they do this. Um, let's do one more. So let's go back to my chapter and let's just edit this. Let's add one more vid module up here. So I'm going to create a new one by dragging this down again. So this one I'm going to have them do. This is going to be Preterite U irregulars. So these are some common irregulars that they'll come across. Oh, now learn from the learn about U irregulars. So again, I'm going to find my other video here. And now uh, let's see, I have Preterite U irregulars. So I'm going to copy this one. Paste this in. And then I'm also going to have them oops, learn about U irregulars. And then I'm also going to have them do a different exercise. So let's save this one more time. And now let's go back and find my numbers. So I want these two numbers. I want this number. And I want this number. So these are going to be my the two videos that I was working with earlier. I'm just going to copy these over so I can use them in my other video too. So I'm going to copy these. I'm going to go to my other module, and I'm going to have them do a different exercise type this time. So I'm going to go back to my glossary and find another one that works with Preterite. So this time they're actually going to have to write it out. So they'll have to conjugate it by piecing together the syllables. So this is a different exercise that we'll have them do on those same videos. So it's going to be the same verbs again. They're just going to do a little bit different exercise, um, practicing how to spell it. So now I'm going to do two of these, one with that first video, and another one with the other video. So that's a little bit of a practice that they'll get with the U irregulars, and um, they'll get to practice it. So I'll save that. And now I'm going to go back to my chapter list. And now I'm going to work on this capstone exercise. So now it's going to be record what you did yesterday. So now for this one, first of all, I'm going to have them do a quick um, first learn from this example. So now I've, I've recorded a little example of what I did yesterday. Um, so I used the same audio recorder, so I'll just copy this link. Um, so I'm going to have them do live listening, and I'm also going to have them do, um, let's have them do a few other exercises on it too. So let's have them do the preterite tense con conjugation on it. Let's have them do the flashcard production. These are good exercises that will help them reinforce what they've been learning um, and some of the vocab in this one. And let's have them do flashcard reading verbs. It's really important that they understand these verbs, so we'll have them do that one. All for this same video, so this will help them really reinforce what they're learning from this video. So I'm just going to copy out this number and paste it in for each of these exercises. And let's just have them do writing as well. So let's have them do, especially help have them do all the verbs for this one. So that'll be mostly preterite tense. 
So we need to use the same number. And now, um, for them, for me to assign the open-ended assignment, I'll just save this, and I'll go back to explore my audio content. I'm going to make um, a workbook entry. I'm just going to call it yesterday. So this will this will show up in their assignment in their journal, and which will also becomes their portfolio. And now, since I don't want anything in this, I'm just going to leave it blank like this. And then I'm going to copy the link under here that's workbook submission. This will allow them to create their, their um, assignment entry. So I'm going to copy this, go back to my class tab, edit this content again. And I'm going to go to give them the, the link workbook submission. So now when I save this, you see they have assignment completion status not yet started. So now when they submit their assignment, and their assignment is to write out what they did yesterday, so they'll use this to say, ayer fui a la escuela. And then they'll, they'll use this, they'll write out theirs, and they'll record it. Ayer fui a la escuela and then they'll submit it. They'd have to have at least three sentences to submit it, so I won't do that. But then it arrives to you, and you get to grade it. So that's um, basically how this, uh, how creating lesson would work. So I have this whole lesson all, all created. So now they get to learn from all these different lessons from that example node, and they get to do their own yesterday. I'll just add a little description here. Oops, this is supposed to be www. Um, and then I'll, right here, I'll just write, whoops. Now, use the recorder to create your own um, submission of what you did yesterday. Use at least and preterit tense verbs. So now I'm done. My lesson's done, and, and they can use this to submit their their assignment, and then they'll get um, they'll be graded by you out of twenty points. So that's how you make a lesson, um, which is what you have to do for your final project in Instreamia.